I bought this site about four years ago from Thames Water at an auction. And it used to have a water tower on it, a steel, ugly, horrible water tower. Exactly where I'm standing now with the enormous hedge as high as the, the wires above my head. And as soon as I climbed up the old water tower and looked over the top and saw the view, I knew that the house had to be designed to be orientated towards it. I worked quite closely with Tom and his colleagues to steer the scheme in the direction of Passive House and to go with a shell contractor who could guarantee certain things, particularly the air tightness. It is a development, so we had to design it with a number of different residential scenarios in mind. The slab itself was um, installed and poured in less than a week and the two-storey structure was erected the following week, but we spent a good six months uh, fitting it out and, and finishing it off. The team around Tom and uh, Mike Jacob, the project manager, is very strong. There's a lot of collaboration and potential problems are picked up and worked out ahead of time. The biggest challenge was actually achieving the Passive House criteria. We spent a lot of time with the PHPP model adjusting the design and especially the size of the windows and the amount of insulation so that we could keep the glazing to the west of the house. The blinds that keep the house cool when it's hot are externally mounted. They keep out 95% of the solar gain. I think we achieved a house here that has architectural clarity and quality, which is also a full-blown certified passive house.